Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to create this. This video is sponsored by videoblogs.com. Videoblogs has one of the fastest growing largest stock video libraries with over 3 million videos, after effects and motion backgrounds. This includes the only contributor marketplace that gives 100% of the commission back to the artist. Click the link in the description box below to start downloading and get 7 days of videoblogs for free. And all of these clips come with a royalty free agreement so you can't get it with copyright claims. We are giving away 7 days of video blocks so you can try it out and get access to this massive video library and royalty free license for free. Also you can download this project file and you can customize it yourself and if you want you can buy this original template link in the description box below so please check this out. Can I get 1000 likes for this tutorial if yes please hit the like button. Ok so let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition, go to composition, new composition and let's call it logo comp. And I'm going with full HD 1920 by 1080 TV frame rate 30 and duration make it 10 seconds then click on OK. Ok let's add our logo. You can also use text if you want. Ok now select the logo and place this in your timeline then press S to open scale and make it little bit smaller perfect ok let's add our project file you can download these project files from link in the description box below now select the metal texture layer and place this above the logo layer then press S and make it smaller Ok now select the logo layer and change the logo track mat to luma mat. If you don't see the track mat button simply click here. Now change the track mat to luma mat. Perfect. Now select the metal texture layer and then go to effect, color correction and choose curves. Then change the RGB curves to something like this. Perfect. Now select the logo layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. Now select this layer. Then go to effect and preset window and search for fill. Then select the effect and apply onto this layer. Then change the color to black. Then click on OK. Again go to effect and preset window and search for bevel alpha. Then select the effect and apply onto this layer. Edge thickness set it 13 and light angle set it 0 and intensity set it maybe 0.72. Then change the layer mode to screen. Perfect. Ok now select all layers and right click and choose pre-compose and select move all attributes and click on ok. Then go to project window and select fog 2 layer and place this above the pre-comp layer. Ok now change this layer track mat to luma mat. Perfect.
Ok now select both layers and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. Then select this layer and change the layer mode to overlay. Ok now we are creating another composition so go to composition, new composition and let's call it main comp. And I'm going with same 1920 1080p frame rate 30 duration 10 seconds then click on ok. Ok now go to project window and select fog one layer and place this in timeline. I am downloading this footage from videoblocks.com. Now go to effect and preset window and search for tree tone. Then select the effect and apply onto this layer. Then change the mid-tones color. You are free to choose your own color. Looks good to me. Now select the layer and press T to open opacity. Opacity make it 50%. Ok now go to project window. Ok now select the light rays layer and place this above the fog one layer and then change the layer mode to add. Perfect. Ok now right click new and click on solid and rename it to vintage. and make it black then click on ok now select this layer and then go to toolbar and select ellipse tool and double click on it then change the max mode to subtract and press F to open feather and increase the feather amount very high perfect now select this max point and change the position something like this okay now hold down alt and click here to change project depth 8 to 16 bit for better color then right click here then new and click on solid and make it white and rename it to light then click on ok now select the light layer and then go to toolbar and select ellipse tool then create a shape something like this then press V and then double click on this marks path and put it above of this composition Then press F to open Max Feather and increase the Max Feather very high. Maybe 457. Perfect. Now select the layer and then go to Effect and Preset window and search for Glow. Then select the Glow effect and apply onto this layer. Then change the layer mode to add. Perfect. Now go to project window and select our logo comp layer. Then place it below the light layer. Now create a black solid layer so right click new and click on solid and make it black and rename it to mask 
then click on ok then select the max layer and put it above the light layer then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on this max path and hold down all control and drag then change the max mode to subtract perfect looks good to me now create a new adjustment layer so right click new and click on adjustment layer then select the adjustment layer and then go to effect noise and gain then choose noise and noise set it three percent again go to effect then blur and sharpen and choose unsharp mask and amount set it 22 radius set it 9 now select the effect and press ctrl plus d to duplicate then change the amount to 30 and radius set it 16 again go to effect blur and sharpen then choose sharpen and sharpen amount set it 20 perfect wow it's look really awesome again create a new adjustment layer so right click new adjustment layer then select the layer and then go to effect color correction and choose curves then change the rgb curves to something like this then select this effect and press ctrl plus d to duplicate and change the rgb curves to something like this ok perfect ok now select the logo comp layer then go to effect and preset window and search for CC light sweep then select the effect and apply onto this layer then go to around 4 seconds then go to effect control panel and edge thickness set it 0 edge intensity set it 0 and then increase the width amount and then increase the swipe intensity then select the effect and change the effect position something like this then set a keyframe on center then go to around uh, 6 seconds and then select the effect and change the effect position something like this Okay, let's change the quality to quarter okay let's ramp view this wow it's look really awesome okay let's change the quality to full now go to beginning of this animation and select the logo comp layer and press S to open scale then set a keyframe on scale then go to end of this animation and scale amount set it 120% for making zoom out effect now select the fog 1 layer and change the color to more brighter you are free to choose your own color now looks better ok now create a new black solid layer so right click new and click on solid and make it black and click on ok then select the layer 
and go to beginning of this animation and press T to open opacity then set a keyframe on opacity then go to around 2 seconds and opacity set is 0 then go to around 8 seconds and set a keyframe on opacity and then go to end of this animation and make it 100% then select all the keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease perfect ok let's add our audio then select the audio layer and place this anywhere in your timeline press 0 to ramp preview this and you can download this project file from link in the description box below and you can customize it yourself thank you so much for watching this tutorial have a nice day